What's up guys, it's Niall, and today I've got some more building hacks slash tips for y'all. All of these tricks I found over Reddit, YouTube, Instagram, all bundled together. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the sources. So if anybody knows who originally built and came up with some of these ideas, then definitely go in the comments and leave their at because I really wish I could give them credit, but this is just from my memory over the past few months of just scrolling through Instagram and stuff, things I've seen. But I will say, the last one, the last one is my, that's my idea, yep, I know, shocking. All right, but that being said, let's get into it. All right, so we all know that there's a new chain block in the 1.16 Nether update, and it allows you to make cool little structures like this where you can have stuff hanging and whatnot. It's just a really nice decorative block. However, what if you need something bigger being held up by a chain? Well, the grindstone has your solution. Basically, all you have to do to make this is, you know, find wherever you want a chain, grab your grindstone, crouch, or um, hold A and crouch. Oh shoot, I'm on Xbox. Hold spacebar and shift or A and crouch at the same time. And then place one, turn, place one, turn, place one. That wasn't very smooth, but y'all get the idea. So you just have to rotate them back and forth and it, it looks just like a chain. And I guess you, you really don't have to rotate it, I guess, but I think it looks a lot cooler if you do. Also, uh, I just randomly freelanced this little uh, lamp design here, but putting these chains here really looks cool. So I definitely recommend that. Okay, moving on to the second build. So this one is supposed to represent fog. Now, I know it doesn't exactly look like fog, but if you fly up, it definitely turns into like fog looking. Like you see that? But I've also seen this done on a much larger scale and it looks so smooth. And you can add more layers to it, which will make it look even smoother. So basically what I mean by layers is if I just quickly dig down, you can see that there's actually a lava at the bottom of this. And then there's a layer of glass, a gap, a layer of glass, all the way to the top. And that's what allows this effect to take place. It just kind of fogs it out. And another cool thing is, oh shoot, I've got it always day. That's unfortunate. Well, the cool thing is it glows at night because the lava is at the very bottom. But if you're definitely gonna make like a medieval, like, I don't know, fictional village, definitely use that in like a valley or something and it would look so cool. Especially if you put spikes coming out of that, that would look awesome. All right, moving on to the next one. So this one, I do remember where I found this one. This one was off of Reddit, and this person is a genius. Basically, they got stairs, put them in a circle, and then filled them with water. And you, some of y'all may already know what's about to happen, but others, you may be like, what in the world is he doing? Well, have I got a treat for you. Basically, if I wanted to just cap this off, I don't, wait, let's see, half slab, all right, so now that I got my half slab, if I just cap all this off, it, it completely looks like a normal wall, right? Except on every one of these layers, I filled them with water. And now you can actually blow up TNT right next to the wall, and it won't damage the wall at all. It's an invincible wall because the water blocks uh, prevent anything from getting destroyed, and when the water is placed within the block, it is invincible. Another cool thing is if you're, uh, if someone's trying to break through the wall, they break it, and then water comes out, so it just makes it that much harder for someone to get through. So if you have some PvP, like, castle fighting world, which most of us do, <laughs> then definitely use this, because they will not see it coming, and... It, it, you'll be invincible, especially if you layer these. If you put one here, one here, and one here, they're just gonna hate you. All right, next build. So this is a little table design where you use the campfire and distinguish it, and then it turns into a really nice detailed table. And paired with these chairs, it just looks amazing. Like this is just such a detailed design. And then I just put a barrel down in the middle, but you can use trap doors and whatever you want to as the legs for this table. But I will say when you're distinguishing these, make sure you get a sponge or else it's really hard to dry out the water. Just slap a sponge on top and they'll all disappear. All right. And now for our fifth and final build, the one that I came up with today, it is a triple monitor computer setup. So as you can see, you have your mouse and mouse pad, your keyboard and your three monitor. And when I discovered this, I was so hyped. Like I cannot explain how hyped I was. I was like, I've been looking for something like this to put in my houses that I build for so long. So you, you guys are probably gonna see this in some of my houses soon. So if you want to build this, 
all you need is a banner of your color choice. I'd recommend black because that's what monitor screens are normally colored. And then you're gonna need, it, it will have to be in this general shape. That's the only downside. But if you build it into the wall, then it'll look really cool. So all you have to do is tower up a little bit, um, create a little arch two blocks above the ground. And then this layer right here is where your table, your desk is gonna be. And then all you have to do to create the monitors is place a diagonal one there, a straight one here, and a diagonal one there. But you can just play around with their angles and angle them how you would like. And then the little stand looks exactly like a monitor stand. The complicated part is the mouse pad and mouse. Basically, you need to grab an armor stand, a netherite helmet, and any button of your choice. Oh yeah, and a piston and something to power that piston. So where you want the mouse pad to be, you need to make sure you break two blocks, two blocks including the desk. From there, place your armor stand down as straight as possible. And go ahead and place your netherite helmet on top. Uh, since I'm using a directional block, I need to really quick build up and then over. All right, so now you wanna place the block that you want in that place. So whatever your desk material is, place that block right there. All right, so once you have this set up, go ahead and put your piston facing down on the block above the armor stand and then place a redstone block above that and it'll shoot it straight down. Destroy both those blocks and now you have a black mouse pad. To put the mouse on, you can just place right on the block and there it is. And and yeah, it's really simple and it doesn't take much, but it really, really looks cool and people will definitely be asking questions about it. And then for the keyboard, I just used a netherite pressure plate. And then all this other stuff was just extra stuff. I, I wanted some speakers and a nice wood backboard. But yeah, that's the triple monitor setup design, but I hope y'all enjoyed the video, all these really cool creations. Again, I really wish I had um, the sources of all these, but I do not, I'm sorry about that. But definitely feel free to leave a like, subscribe, new content coming every Wednesday and Saturday, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.